Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palinska International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do amazing uh, design. I will show you how to sculpt the nail and then how to decorate it with this fantastic gold chrome look. Have a wee preview of it in here. Absolutely amazing and boost kind of look and uh, design. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is a few hundreds tutorials to catch up on. And if you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much guys for all your memberships, uh, comments, likes, shares and everything what you're doing for this channel. Let's start! I have my form in here and now I'm just going to apply it on my model. And for those of you, actually most of you, who works on the practice hands, practice fingers, I have put a tiny bit of the tape in here and this is fantastic for the forms to stick in better. I'm cutting the form out a little bit uh, just so it is easier to pinch and I'm just rolling it in between the fingers to get a really nice C curve. This way the shape of the nail is going to be much better. Then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to apply it underneath of the nail and then close the form. So I'm making sure the form is nice and straight, nice and straight, secure it well. And you can see it because we have made the cuts, I have no bends in my form. It looks really nice and fit. And now we can sculpt this beautiful nail. So we are going to do a coffin shape and I will be using the fiber gel. Um, as, after you have prepped the natural nail, then you will apply the nail prep. This is an extra nail dehydrator and then universal air bond, which gives a really good adhesion uh, of the gel to the natural nail. And if I've got a problematic client, I would apply this product twice, only on top of the natural nail. So basically you don't apply it on the tip. Uh, when you do the sculpted set, then it goes um, all over the natural nail. And using my oval gel brush, we are going to sculpt this nail. So clean my brush, always into nice point, then pick up a small scoop of the product. Apply nice and thin layer everywhere through the entire nail plate, very close to the cuticle, almost touching it. So very close to the cuticle. Press it well, pick up another scoop of the product and apply it where the free edge is, where the place where the nail plate is joining the form, like just so you've got a little bit more product there. Okay, so apply it there, it gives you a nice support and then drag it down into the coffin shape. And we are going to do a pretty decent uh, length nail. Uh, obviously on the clients uh, we usually go much shorter, uh, but I wanted to show you how to do it a much longer ones and when you're practicing if you will be doing those longer nails um, you will get uh, better skills because short nail is very easy to do it like and the longer it is the harder it becomes so that's why i like to practice on the longer the better and then once i have applied it i'm going to give it a cure it is going to be a uh, Actually, we don't need to even pinch it. I will show you without of pinching because normally I do the pinching um, just to get a more cylinder look. So like on my nails, I will always pinch them. But clients, not necessary because you can pinch it also with the form application. That's what we did when we was rolling the form in between our fingers. And because we have cut it as well, we was able to get really nice curvature of this form. So much better uh, shape of the nail. Okay, that's the first layer cure. And then pick up another scoop of the product, apply it through the entire nail, like everywhere. See, that's what I'm having on my brush. It's wrong now, actually, guys, because I have product on both sides of my brush, which results in a really messy application. So you don't want that. You ideally you want to have a nice and clean brush. And then apply it, it nice and thin. I've got some kids playing outside on front of the garden. We had so much snow falling down today. Really beautiful in here. But yeah, I'm just applying this nice and thin layer through the entire nail. 
on the side as well like and I show you from the other side they are those um, those lines so try to follow the shape of the line just add this product okay nice and thin layer so you don't have to worry about the product running everywhere and then you pick up a huge scoop of the product like really big really big scoop of the product direct the needle down the way and now apply it more through the apex and more through the middle of the needle because by the time you finish applying it it is going to run to those sides so look at the side view this is what is really important and quite often when i'm building your needles i would look my side view okay just touch up the sides and quickly cure it before it starts running that's enough check the apex give it a cure so this way we have built up a nice structure uh, on those needles. I'm going to clean my brush and put it away and then we can move on into shaping the needle and I will show you a couple movement as well with the shaping. As you can see it I'm trying to keep my brush into those nice points. It is an oval gel brush um, so it, it, you want really those nice points. You don't want any missing uh, messy sticking out hairs uh, on your brush as well because it's affecting your uh, product application. Okay, we are going to close uh, the product and it was light rose I have used. So I'm just going to close it, put it on the side, clean the mess. And then we'll be shaping this beautiful needles to create an absolutely amazing design with the gold chrome. I'm actually really excited to see this look. I'm very chromey recently, like black, chromes, gold, silvers. I think it looks awesome. There was also a gothic needle tutorial request and I will I promise I will record it as well like um, I do really promise my model is a bit drunk. Stay there. <laughs> stay there. Stay. Okay so I'm just putting it there but uh, I got the finger like years years ago on the trade show because um, I used to attend like actually quite a lot of trade shows judging, taking parts in competition, so it was a really good fun as well. So I just removed the inhibition layer and I get my model to stay. Please stay. It actually has a name on it, I just noticed it. It says FlexiFinger, FlexiFinger.com. Actually, I show you that, guys. I didn't notice the sticker before because I had a few of you asking me this question. So the flexifinger.com oh I was dot a u okay that's where I get it from. But I definitely didn't order from website. It was on the trade show. <laughs> okay, stay now. Stay, stay. Oh come on, cameraman, do something with it. <laughs> Don't tell me the finger is broken and I cannot use it. <laughs> okay you can stick it you're stronger than me i did something with my thumb like really badly and yeah that Is sounds it? good yay i did hurt my thumb like it is kind of still very swollen so i was scared I'm, i wouldn't be able to record the tutorials uh but it did feel a little bit better so i'm really glad for it now we are going to file the sides so one side other side into a, almost a v-shape okay from the side and you can see it how the shape is really improving file the free edge nice and straight and for chrome application you want to have really perfect needles because the chrome is showing any kind of imperfection look at the c-curve and that was done without of pinching really nice then my favorite move all over the needle, so this way we get a really nice um, shape of the needles. So just keep filing. You don't even have to put a lot of pressure with this movement. And we don't have as much filing, to be honest, on this needle. Coffin shape, like I, I don't want those side walls too straight. I want them to be a little bit at the angle. So I'm just filing a little bit at the angle. Can you see it, how the shape changed? And now you can see that this side wall is much more droppy. So I need to sort out the other side as well. Uh, 
now check it still one side is more droppy so just get rid of that and then file the sheet You can see it, I'm filing like a little bit at the angle as well, so not only straight, but also at the angle. Then blend everything around the cuticle area. all this side in so it looks better clean the dust just so you know what you're doing and I said I have not much filing and no filing so long that is actually not as much left okay I am almost there so just blend a little bit more around the cuticle area don't touch my apex because uh, the apex is good and uh, now I'm going to just smooth it everything with the buffer and the buffer is rough enough for the products to stick to it uh, so the gel product sticks to the nail so just smooth this out Okay, that's my nail probably ready yeah it looks nicer much nicer final touches because the chrome is going to show all those imperfections and then clean it well so I want to use the uh, gold chrome and it is going to look its best over the black so I'm just applying uh, quickly one layer of the 183, which is uh, black ink. And then we are going to put the chrome over it. I've got some dust in there, so I just clean my black. Don't bring any dust, any dirt back into your bottle, because then you will struggle. Nice and close to the cuticle. Smooth it all out, cap the free edge and give it a cure. <clears throat> In the meantime, I'm just going to grab my no wipe top gel and the chrome. So we are going to use the mixture I have created. And this mixture is like a silver and a gold chrome. Looks really nice because it's not as yellow gold. So I'll just clean this mess. And then we are also going to use the foil design gel. Okay, so the black is cure. Now I'm <coughs> just going to apply the top coat. And then give it a cure. For the next step, we are going to need our P 
liner brush and the foil design gel. This is actually going to be a fun And just so it's easier to do it this design I suggest that you do it in two rounds because we could do it what we could do there are two ways of doing it one way is we will apply the chrome and then do the foil design gel or you could do the foil design gel now but because it would be extremely difficult to paint black over the black I'm going to put the chrome first so I can easily see it what I'm going to paint hope that's clear so we're going to apply the chrome And you can see it I have created an absolutely amazing color of the chrome I really love this color I think it's so stunning okay apply it really well clean the excess scratch the free edge and then move on into the design part So we are going to use the foil design gel and we will do a couple of the swirly bits. Touch harder. I didn't put a top coat or anything yet because uh, we don't want too many top coats in there. I'm just going to clean my brush a bit better nice point and what I'm doing is with the blob of the product which I've got on my finger I'm creating a swirly part and as you can see it, it would be very very difficult to paint it, it with the top coat which takes chrome really well and also it will be very difficult to paint it over the black with the black because you can't see what you're doing so that's why I wanted to show you it this way okay another swirl in here even paint it like a wheel leaves as well so you could paint anything you could paint roses you could paint any kind of shape which comes to your mind I'm just going to kind of do it to sleeve swirls and a little bit of everything in there So what I'm really doing is like I'm just touching uh, the blob of the product which I have on my brush and then drag it. Really easy painting. Don't overthink it like you can kind of do it uh, all the time same shape -ish. You can see it I'm completely just repeating the same movement. Just slightly different sizes and, and uh, shape, but the movement is exactly the same. And then once I'm happy, I can prolong some parts, make it a little bit thicker. Why not? Perfect. And now I'm just going, no, I'm going to add more actually. So 
from the other side this time. Just so there is something on the both sides. <laughs> and then we do some James. But just a couple to don't break this uh, look because I think it looks really, it's going to look really beautiful on its own. Perfect, that's enough. So now we have to cure it. Actually, it looks really nice even just like this. Uh, really beautiful design, but we are going to give it a cure. And now when we're working with the foil design gel, there are two options. So the one option would be to use it, uh, the foil design gel, um, to attach the transfer foil to it into like a really precise design. And then you would cure it anything Usually I cure it about 30 seconds on a slow curing motion and an LED light and two minutes in a UV light. And then I will transfer the gold foil. But we can also use it for chromes. And then for chromes, you want to over cure it a little bit. So about 60, even to 90 seconds is a perfect cure for, uh, for this part uh, to work really well on the foil design gel. I wouldn't use this gel for a full coverage. Uh, I would use only for like very detailed designs and for a home applications. So I need to cure it properly and then we can move on into the next part and get some nice gems. Not too much, just a little ones. And a soak of base gel. Perfect. Okay, that's my black almost cure. I've got nine seconds more to go. To save a time, I'm just going to dip in my old brush into the base. So I've got this base ready for a gem applications. And what we are going to do now is go into the chrome and apply it, it over the black. Rub it in to remove any excess and we have got this really beautiful look. Remove any excess of the pigment and look at the detail. It's so amazing like Absolutely stunning. Okay, so I'm just going to stick a couple gems and then that's this beautiful, amazing nail finished. I want one gem. Don't want to cover it because it's so beautiful. Oh gosh, maybe don't put the gems. I'll put one in here, one in there, and just one in here like really the, the smallest amount of the gems ever. I don't want to break this design because I love it the way it looks. Okay, no, the gems didn't break it. But don't overdo it with the gems. I feel like it is so pretty on its own. That's we don't want to overdo it. One more. <laughs> And here is empty space. Okay, it's okay. I can put a couple more. Gosh, Dorota, don't overdo it. Just don't overdo it. It was looking nice without of all the gems. Cameraman, is it looking better with the gems or worse? Different. 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 Oh, what a shame. I like this better without of the gems. So I need to put a few more to fix it now. <laughs> um, no, just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. <laughs> I'm going to quickly cook it. Um, 
But yeah, definitely do it with out of the jams. Don't overdo it. Sometimes less is more. And then the top cut. So. Absolutely beautiful. We did scratch the free edge before. So I don't have to scratch it again. And even the top coat didn't took away the 3D look to it. Absolutely amazing. I want more nails done with this way. The roses. Oh my goodness, I've got so many ideas now, guys, for this technique. I'm definitely going to record it on some press on nail sets as well because I think it looks absolutely amazing. I'm just going to give it a cure. I didn't apply any top coat over the gems. And before I put the brush back into my top coat, I'm just going to clean it. A couple seconds longer and I can show you the final look. I think it looks great. Really great. So I'm going to use some white to clean my model. And um, I've got separate fingers for taking the pictures because obviously I bought two of them. Uh, so one I'm keeping for demonstrating and then I've got a brand new one where the skin is much better looking uh, for the mm, pictures. And then I put some rings and it is going to look absolutely fantastic. Now let me take this tape. And I, I, I need to show you at the different angles this nail again once it's finished. So just let me clean it quickly and look what we have created. Absolutely amazing. Like really, wow. I love this look. So stunning. Oh, sorry guys. I got too excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hashtag me if you try this design uh, because I would love to see your work as well. Yeah, glittery hacks and bye for now.